were talking to Craig Johnson, the film's director, earlier, and, and I asked him, because obviously this is quite a different role for you, and what he'd like to see you go on and do next off the back of this. And he said that you would make a fantastic Bond villain. What do you think oh, of that? Oh, I would love to be a Bond villain. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd be that geeky Bond villain who <laughs> Bond just immediately kicks the shit out of. No, uh, no, I'd love to be a Bond villain. That'd be great. And he also thought that you would be awesome in Star Wars. So if you got the call from J.J. Abrams for the next Star Wars movie, what would your reaction be and what kind of character would you like to play? I would say just, I could do so many voices. I'll do a puppeteer thing. I'll do whatever you need. I'll be the guy that did Jabba's tail, you know, and I watched that making of Star Wars and it was just that one guy who operated Jabba's tail. I will do that. I don't care. I, I'm so looking forward to that movie. <laughs> he thought you'd be great as Darth Vader. He thought you had, oh. you had that in him as well. Yeah, be like David Prowse. I don't think I have the, 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 the chest, the arms and everything. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to like, I can't. He's just saying that because I can kind of choke people with my mind. Are there any messages that you think some of the viewers can take away from this film? I feel like the movie's a lot about, um, you know, those relationship, relationships you have with your siblings. That's what really kind of drew me to it, you know. I, like I said, I have two sisters, and there's a, a relationship you have with your siblings that you can't, you know... <coughs> It's a bond that you don't have with anybody else. Mm -hmm. And even when you go through life and other, they, they always kind of remind you of who you were, right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's kind of what this movie is. It's like uh, that one person on, on, on the earth who can kind of like call you on your shit. You know, can legitimately, even better than your friends or anybody, it's like they know you better than anybody. So I don't know. So would you say it. maybe cherish those relationships? Don't take them? Granted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like well, even if you do time. take them for, for granted, you have no choice. <laughs> you have <laughs> right. no choice but to be together. It's just like that bond is you can't break it, you know. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of what it's about, you know. And that's and that's what really drew me to it. And uh, I just uh, you know, and I like movies like You Can Count on Me and The Savages. I always like stories about siblings. You've worked so closely with Kristen in the past. How closely did the two of you stick to the script on this film? Was there a lot uh, of editing? No, there was not a lot of improvising at all. The script was really good. There was not a lot of improvising. It was very chill. And and uh, there's a couple of scenes where... There's one scene in particular where Craig Johnson said, Bill, just make her laugh, you know, in a scene where we're just being silly together. And that was the only scene where and, we and, kind and of... And how did around. you do that? How did you make her laugh? I can't blow it. I got you guys okay. in the movie. But then she in turn tries to make, then he was like, all right, now, now Kristen, you got to make Bill laugh. And then she was doing just funny yeah. stuff. And so I, I don't know. That was pretty much the only scene where we really did any sort of improvising. And lastly, this festival has personal significance to you. This is where you yeah. met your wife. Yeah. Can you just give us a little bit of backstory? Well, I did, we didn't meet each other here. It's at the Institute, we got engaged. So it's kind of... Uh, it was very nice, and it was, it was Sundance is something that's very important to her. She used to work at the festival. She used to work at the Institute. So when I said the movie got into Sundance, she was her bags were packed already. <laughs> and I was like, it's not for another two months, honey. And she's like, boom, like ready to go. So it's just, it's cool. I'm happy for her.